Good day everyone! I'm Katrina Mariano Marinduque from BSIT 3A BPO and for today's video, the topic is all about SHA1 or Secure Hash Algorithm 1 and I will also be tackling the types of secure hash algorithms, the flow and how does SHA1 works. So, let's start! SHA1 is short for Secure Hash Algorithm 1. SHA1 is one of the algorithms in the Secure Hash Algorithm family. The first family is SHA0 which is 160-bit hash function. Next is SHA1 which is also 160-bit hash function. SHA224, SHA256, and SHA384. SHA512, SHA512224 and SHA512256 belongs to SHA2 family and SHA3 family of hash algorithms since 2012. Most were developed by the U.S. National Security Agency or NSA and published by the National Institute of Standards and Technology or NIST. So what is the use of SHA in algorithms? All of the SHA algorithm is iterative one-way hash functions that can process the message to produce condensed representation called message digest. So what is the use of message digest? It is used for message integrity and authenticity. And any changes to message or text will result in different message digest. The flow. The flow is a message that passed to the algorithm and will produce message digest. In this example, as you can see, there is a message that passes to the one-way shot hash function and produces the message digest. So how does SHA1 works? Step 1, take input text and split it into an array of the characters as key codes. For example, a test. A is for 65. 32 is a space, as key code for space. T is for 84, E is for 101, S is for 115, and D is for 116. Step 2, convert ASCII codes to binary. So, convert the 65, 32, 84, 101, 115, and 116 ASCII code to its binary. Step 3, pad zeros to the front of each until they are 8 bits long. Okay, so after you convert the ASCII code to its binary, next step is to pod zeros in front until you complete 8 bits long. Then step 4, join them together and append a 1. Step 5, pad the binary message with zeros until its length is 512 mod 448. Then, step 6, take binary 8-bit ASCII code array from step 3. Get its length in binary. Step 7, pad with zeros until it's 64 characters. Step 8, append to your previously created binary message from step 5. Then step 9, breaks the message into an array of chunks of 512 characters. Then step 10, break each chunk into a subarray of 1632-bit words. Then step 11, loop through each chunk array of 1632-bit words and extend each array 280 words using bitwise operations. Step 12, initialize some variables. So as you can see, the binaries in H0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, those are the binaries that are the result of the constant SHA1 initial hash value. Then step 13, looping through each chunk, bitwise operations, and variable reassignment. Basically, continually reassign these five variables with different values that are the result of bitwise operation. Then, 
Step 14, convert each of the five resulting variables to hexadecimal. And then the last step, join them together. And there you go. You already have your hash value. And that's all guys. That is all about the SHA1 algorithm and how does SHA1 works.